This is your AF in Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Ali Rose. Afghan and coalition forces captured one of the Taliban's IED experts in Kandahar province. The combined force searched a compound outside of Kandahar city after intelligence sources reported militant activity there. They captured the man along with several other militants involved in making and placing IEDs throughout Kandahar. Military officials say this capture may reduce the Taliban's IED capabilities in Kandahar, and the man might also provide information on other Taliban leaders. The Afghan National Army stood up just seven years ago, but they continue to make strides in providing defense for their country. Marine Corporal Brian Lett takes us to Wardak province to tell us how the ANA's responsibilities are about to pick up. Members of the Marine Embedded Training Team have spent the last eight months living with, eating with, and training the members of the Afghan National Army. We live with these guys, you know, we do everything with them. We dinner with them, we take them out on patrol with us. I trust a lot of them with my life and our, and our team's life. The ETT trained four different ANA companies. Took them out on ranges, we've done patrolling, tactics, land nav. We've taught them disassembly, assembly on their M16s, 50 cal, everything. The Marines are confident that the ANA will be able to hold their own after they leave. I think overall they've made a lot of progress in our time here. So, you know, I trust in a short time they're really getting ready to stand on their own two feet. The Marine ETT is on their way out and no replacements are coming. The ANA will be relying on their training over the past eight months to defend their country. Marine Corporal Brian Lett, Wardak Province, Afghanistan.